A legendary Nexus leader teasing a comeback? Shocking merch stats involving a dog? Oh, and John Cena just dropped a career-changing bombshell. And trust me, there's even more brewing behind the scenes. Stick around, this is the kind of news you don't want to miss. Welcome to WrestleFun Weekly News, let's dive in fan backlash about WarGames team compositions. Now, let's talk about WarGames because there's some serious fan heat around this one. WWE's apparently thinking about adding Rollins and Reed as fifth members to their respective teams, and fans, not happy. Like, people are straight up saying this feels forced, like they're trying to overcomplicate what's already a solid concept. WarGames has always been about the classic 4 on 4 format, right? Right? It's part of what makes it feel special. Throwing in a fifth member kind of messes with that, and a lot of fans are saying it feels unnecessary. Sure, adding big names might bring more attention, but it risks diluting what makes War Games so iconic in the first place. Let's see how WWE handles this one, but right now, it's definitely a hot topic. Wade Barrett's potential return to the ring. Here's a throwback we didn't see coming. Wade Barrett might actually step back into the ring. Yep, the leader of Nexus and five-time Intercontinental Champion is being rumored for a match against Drew McIntyre. WrestleVotes is saying WWE's been discussing the idea Idea, and Barrett himself seems pretty open to it. He even joked about it, saying Drew was lucky he didn't take one more step toward him or he'd have eaten a bull hammer. Classic Barrett, right? These two have a long history, going all the way back to their days in developmental, and their last singles match was in 2013. It wouldn't be a full-time return, but even a one-off could be something special, especially with the way WWE's been building their tension lately. Larry the Dog outselling WWE superstars. Okay, now this one is just wild. Larry the Dog, CM Punk's pet, is apparently outselling actual WWE superstars in merch. I'm not even kidding. Larry's got t-shirts, plushies, and all kinds of stuff, and fans are eating it up. Like, the sales numbers are reportedly better than some legit legends. It's genius marketing, though. Punk has tied Larry into his character so well that fans see him as part of the package. And with Punk's rumored return to TV, WWE's doubling down with more Larry merch on the way. Honestly, it's hilarious and kind of amazing at the same time. Who knew a dog could become a merchandising phenomenon in wrestling? John Cena's final Royal Rumble announcement. Now, this one's got all the feels. John Cena announced that the two 2025 Royal Rumble will be his last one ever. Let that sink in for a second. Cena, the guy who's been carrying WWE on his back for decades, is stepping into the Rumble one final time. It's happening on February 1st, 2025 at Lucas Oil Stadium, and Cena's calling it the last time. This is huge. Fans are already speculating about whether he'll compete in the actual Rumble match or have a different role. Considering his two previous Rumble wins and his insane legacy, this event is shaping up to be one of the most emotional moments in recent WWE history. Street Profits Public frustrations. All right, let's talk about the Street Profits, because things are getting interesting. Reports are saying that Ford and Dawkins are frustrated with WWE, and fans can't figure out if it's real or just part of a storyline. It's creating a lot of buzz, though. Some are thinking this could lead to a heel turn, especially since their MVP storyline didn't really take off. But there's also talk that their contracts might be coming up, which adds a whole new layer to this. If they're legit unhappy, WWE could be in danger of losing one of its best tag teams. Or, if it's all kayfabe, they've done a great job getting people talking. The New Day Breakup. Rumors. Finally, Finally, we've got some potential heartbreak on the horizon. Rumor has it that the New Day, one of the most beloved factions in WWE, might be splitting up. And honestly, it hurts just to think about it. Apparently, there's been tension between Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, and without Big E around, things just aren't the same. Booker T even chimed in, saying maybe it's time for them to go solo. Kofi's already proven he can shine as a single star, and Xavier had that incredible King of the Ring run. If this breakup happens, it's going to be emotional, but it could also lead to some amazing solo storylines. 